This is a popular Iraqi dish called mazgouf. Fish grilled on an open wood fire. For decades, fish markets thrived across the country. But these days, the industry is floundering. In Najaf, a city south of Baghdad, dozens of fisheries have shut down. Awad al Ghazali says his business has suffered because of water shortages. But that's only part of the problem. We recycle water. That means lack of fresh water and oxygen needed. That impacts the growth of fish. The prices of feed have also gone up from 200 US dollars per ton to nearly 700, and workers' wages have tripled. Iraq's two lifelines, the Tigris and the Euphrates rivers, have shrunk, a result of droughts and dam projects in neighboring Turkey and Iran. Contamination levels have increased as rubbish and sewage are dumped into the rivers. Every year, thousands of tons of fish die of common treatable diseases such as coherpes. Farmers say they need more government subsidized vaccines. Weighing just 20 grams, this fingerling needs to be incubated for about six months before it's big enough, roughly this size to be consumed but fish farmers here say the spread of viral and bacterial diseases combined with poor quality feed means many fingerlings are dying in the process Zaid al Habub's $200,000 fishery was destroyed in a power outage he laments his losses showing us where tons of fish died when his oxygen and water pumps ground to a halt. The state power grid can only provide between 180 to 190 megawatts, but the amount required to operate the generator to keep pumping oxygen and clean water to the fish is 250 megawatts. We asked the Agriculture Ministry what authorities were doing to protect the industry. The water crisis is hitting many regions across the world, not only Iraq. We are working on building water treatment plants and the ministry is liaising with the government in Baghdad to put pressure on neighboring countries to stop damming operations and diversion of water resources. To increase productivity, scientists suggest introducing more robust strains to build up the fish's resistance to disease. Until then, the survival of this beloved traditional dish remains in doubt. Mahmoud Abdelwahid Al Jazeera, in Najaf, Central Iraq.